We're talking today with the chairman of Magnus Energy Technologies. Frank, nice to see you face to face. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Tim. Thanks for having me on. Frank, you've announced today that your new uh, New York battery factory will commence uh, commercial production. Now, IM3 New York is uh, America's first homegrown uh, battery cell gigafactory. Uh, congratulations on achieving such an amazing milestone in North America. Can you talk us through the, the scale and the size of the plant? The capacity of the plant is 1.8 gigawatt hours. Uh, but we, are, we do have plans to grow up to 38 gigawatt hours by 2030 and it will just be a continuous ramp up period. Uh, our partners in C4V and ourselves have been working on this uh, project for the last six to seven years. So it's a, it's a huge day for us to start production. Uh, just some info around the plant, uh, we have 22,000 square metres, uh, which is uh, to sort of break it down larger than three um, professional football fields. Uh, the, the project also has a huge ESG aspect. Pretty much all the power produced comes from hydroelectric and we've had that qualified by groups uh, previously uh, and independent groups in regards to those, um, the cells we'll be producing will be some of the greenest in the world. Uh, we currently own um, yeah, around that sort of 60% mark of the plan and between ourselves and C4V, uh, we're above that 90% ownership um, for the New York battery plant. Of course, Frank, the battery plan is a little bit late. You've obviously had to address global supply constraints and, and COVID. Can you talk through the significance of today's announcement? We, we start our production now and then uh, we've got a, a quality assurance period of about five weeks, making sure all the batteries we're producing, the thousands of them, are all working fine um, from a manufacturing point of view. Uh, everything's going well. We will then uh, have revenues starting towards the end of September. So from that aspect, uh, extremely important. But then also, uh, going back onto uh, the delay, while there was a minor delay, uh, we've in in the face of everything that is going on around the world, around supply chain issues, around uh, delays in shipments, uh, we think it was a, an amazing result to uh, get into production um, within only you know four, four or five weeks of our uh, what was our uh, goal. And Frank, how many battery cells will we, we you make and have you made and when will you get to peak production? So with the commercial production just having begun overnight, uh, the, the plan is for a few thousand cells to be produced uh, during August and then that will continually ramp up uh, all the way up to about 15,000 cells. But then as probably a bit of a disclaimer there, our plans are to grow uh, exponentially very quickly. Uh, so I think it would just be a constant ramp up and there'll be just added um, added capacity built into the project as time goes on. So I feel like it will be many years of just a continual uh, ramp up period. Frank, in, in the past you've announced binding sales agreements of around $729 million. Can you remind us who those counterparties are and what's the, the tenure of those agreements? Yeah, so the majority of those agreements are between three and five years uh, and more towards the energy stationary storage space, uh, even though there are um, a couple that are in the sort of transportation um, uh, space as well. And, and Frank, will some of the uh, battery cells go to U US government suppliers and what, have they already been qualified? Yeah, Tim, so uh, we've got a number of groups who are suppliers to the US government. Uh, they have been qualified and, and what you find with the offtakes that we have typically in the lithium ion battery space, you go through a qualification period uh, and once you go through that qualification period and they've tested your cells in their products, uh, you then get uh, offtakes on the back of that. So uh, to answer your question, uh, yes, they've been qualified. And, and Frank, so in, in summary with this uh, agreement, we're talking about a, a battery plant going into commercial production. You've got offtake agreements in place. The, the battery cells have been qualified. I suppose the next stage is, is announcing those revenues at some point in the future. That's correct, Tim. Frank, nice to see you again. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Tim. Thanks for the opportunity.